So I wanted to make a quick video to just give you my really honest review of this light. Now I'm a cinematographer, so I've been using much more expensive lights. Every sky panel, that's closer to $5,000, but it has RGB where you could select your color with this RGB kind of a dial. And the Gemini, also $3,700 light from Light Panel. And I can't believe that this $99 light was letting me have these professional options. So let me show you the light itself, then I'll walk you through what I think of it. Now, here's the light, it's called GVM. I just pulled it off the background here. And it's really solid, the build of it. It's actually a lot more sturdy than I thought. And it comes with this barn door, it comes with a nice diffusion to soften the light. And it comes with uh, a battery plate too. So you could just throw in these batteries over here. You just take simple batteries that I have a lot of already. And it comes with two dials on the back. One is for color and one is for brightness. And it comes with that app that I showed you in the beginning of the video. But honestly, the app is my least favorite part about this light. It cuts out all the time. So I've been using it in my studio at home. If I was using it on professional jobs, that would cause a big problem if I couldn't change the dial with the app. But again, I'm spending $100 compared to what I'm used to, which is a $5,000 sky panel. So I can't really complain that much about the app not working very well, but the app sadly has a one star review. So I was expecting a little more out of the app, but it does work if you're patient. It's just because it's Wi-Fi based, it has a little bit of a problem with connecting to Wi-Fi. And I'll put this light in the description where I found it. So if you wanna pick one up, Again, it's under $99. You could even buy a set of three for under $300 that comes with a case and stands. So I'll put those in the description if you wanna check it out. But my overall impression of this light is that it's great as a background light if you don't need to wirelessly change it instantly. If you could be patient, that's great. Now, some of the other lights that I've used for background, for example, quasars or Titan tubes, those are the ones that look like kind of like lightsabers. Those are again, much more expensive than this light, but those, is, those I've used on professional jobs and I haven't used this yet on the field. So at home or for YouTube or for things like that, this has been great. Let me light the background here. So here I'm at zero, 1%, and then let me crank this up. 30, let's go to 60. And this is at, let's go all the way up. It takes a while. There it's at 100%. So it could really be more gradual from 1% to 100%. And the 1% to zero, that's just not quite right on how it's set up. Now this is at 4,600. This is your daylight. And let me go to tungsten. And there it is, there's your tungsten. Now let me go ahead and change the modes on here. We got the disco mode, pretty cool. What's this one? Bad bulb. Hmm. TV. You have a flickering TV effect. Probably gonna work better if I was dimmed down more. You have a candle light effect. Just a warm light here. You have a cop car, lightning, paparazzi. A camera flash and back to disco and then when you change the mode and go to Wi-Fi you could control a lot of that from your phone app that's again free to download now since the phone app doesn't really work very well you could actually set this to master and change the mode to hue here and actually use this dial to change the color so you can see I'm just changing the color with that option that's a lot better. So hue, 360 degrees here is 360. Here's 20, you get the idea here. So you walk through the whole rainbow of colors using that option. Now I turn off both my key and fill light here and I just have the GVM light as my only light source. Let me go ahead and dim it up here. Whoa, there, that's at 18%. I just have one piece of diffusion, no soft box. It's actually not, Bad. Let me go all the way up to 100. So this is at 100. 
and probably somewhere around 50 is good. Again, this is with a piece of diffusion in front here. And saturation is at 100 and inside daylight. Here's a tungsten. Again, my camera set to daylight, so my light should be daylight. And let me go ahead and change the color. There it is. <laughs> go ahead and change the color. Actually, I need to be dimmed out more. And there's all my different colors. Obviously, you don't want to put this on your face, but it's a great background color. Now let's go back to daylight. This is the quality of the light as the only light source right now, besides the light that's just bouncing into the ceiling that's behind me, that's another light panel. So I just put a hundred dollar light here to replace a light panel six by, that's an Astra, that's a thousand dollar light with a softbox. And to replace my key light, which is the Aperture 300X, another thousand dollar light. So I just used $2,000 worth of lighting and replaced it with one light. Now you can see the shadows are harsh, so I still could use a fill light over here, but maybe another one of those, just dim down a little bit more. That's $200 versus 2000 is what I got going on. And uh, I could control it with this app. But that's my overview of the GVM lights and $99 RGB light here with a built-in app to controlling color temperature and hue and saturation. Very, very interesting. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section. If you want me to do more tests or if you have any specific questions, let me know so I could go ahead and make more videos related to this light, the GVM light. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.